Hi, I'm Muhammad. And I'm John. And this is the 10 minute challenge. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, in this 10 minute challenge, we have changed something. And what we have changed is we have pre-weighed our doses. So All right. that we're trying to work around the fact that this is not a very fast grinder. Um, so we have made 15 gram doses and put them into cups that I have here. Okay. How many cups do we have? We have 20 doses because we're being really optimistic today. I was going to say, you're aiming for 20 this time. We are aiming for 20 this time. So uh, I am going to get my first shot started. Good luck. And I think what's going to happen is we're basically going to be restricted by the speed of the machine to crank out shots. Right. Now, in this case, we are doing the Londinium profile, which is not a super fast shot. Yeah, I was going to say, that's even slower than default. It is. Okay, why, why are you making your life harder than it needs to be? Well, that might be the flaw in today's <laughs> plan. Okay, so let me go here and here. So I think I'm at a point now mm. where what we want to see is, can I get my workflow to the point where the espresso machine really is what's slowing us down? It, well, this time it seems like you're not really waiting like you're not really not doing anything at any point. I am, I am spending a fair amount of time talking and here is our shot. Nice. Okay. That start. Do you think you can just leave the, the grinders just cracking the whole time? Yeah, these grinders are not gonna care if they're sitting there on like that. But what I am concerned about is I wanna make sure that I always have a porta filter ready yeah. to go. How many porter filters do you start with? We have four porter filters, which is totally overkill. Right. But what the hell? But you also want to be busy the whole time. Yeah, what I'm wondering is if I should get the next set grinding. Mm. Probably not. I've got two ready here. That's pretty good. I mean, you also only have two hands, so. I only have two hands last time I checked. It's true. <laughs> Aha. All right, that is done. Let's get the next one going. Nice. Uh, you probably need want to change that glass. I know, but mm -hmm. I have. Because I time. watched the last videos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I was in some of the last videos. I think you were there, actually. <laughs> All right, so that is dirty. So this is kind of cool. You're going really fast right now. I can get that going now. Also, total pro move with the towel on the waist. The towel is nice. <laughs> This is gonna stop any second now. These are pretty slow shots. Mm-hmm. They are. All right, so take that out, lock the next one in. The nice thing about these shots, though, is they take a good 10 seconds before they start to dribble. Right, right. So in theory, I mm. should be able to get close to the peak speed here because the machine is basically not stopping. So yeah. one of the things we're also testing here is whether this espresso machine overheats or if it can handle back-to-back -back shots like this. And which uh, which model is this machine? This is just our run-of-the-mill D1 XL. Right. It's the same hardware that you'd find in the Pro model. It's just that it's been countersunk. Yeah. All right, that is good. This is great. You have a porter filter sitting there ready as well. I'm liking that. Mm -hmm. And these are being cranked out pretty quickly. You, by the way, you're almost at five and we're three and a half minutes. So this is really good. Good. Yeah. I do want to dry these though. Otherwise, that is going to be So the color formation of the two grinders and the machine is pretty nice. All right. That shot is channeling. Are you uh, paying attention to the graph or how are, how are we? Um, are you judging it at all or? This I, is just I, the machine. I'm not happy with the flow rate on that most recent one. And so one of the things that's a downside here is I have two grinders and I think one of my grinders is not calibrated the same as the others. Right. Also, I should have started that grinder. Yeah. So there is a possibility now that I am not going to have a puck ready. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to work really fast. As soon as one of these grinders is done, mm -hmm. All right, that is done there. Can I get this puck prep ready? Almost. Cool. Now you got the flow down of I changing. I do not the, think I have the flow down yet. Well, changing the glasses is a good start. This is uh, looking nice. Changing the glasses is a good start. 
So this here is the white grinder on the right hand side mm -hmm. is the next shot I'm going to be doing. And I want to see this is golden and beautiful. Yeah, that is a pretty looking shot. Yep. Also, this is as busy as a coffee shop can get for espressos and you are just by yourself. I am getting them out pretty fast. Mm -hmm. All right. That is so pretty this amazing. again is the white grinder. Yeah. And so we gotta point out that the white grinder is slower than the black one, isn't it? You are right that one of them has the disc in it and one of them does not. Right, yeah. But I am kind of on the edge here. I am barely managing to keep up mm. with having a porta filter ready. At some point, so you had about... another porta filter fit full and ready here. How did that happen? And can you do it again? That would be interesting to see if I can get mm -hmm. that to happen. All right, so I think what I need to do is get this started. Thanks. Okay, that Pretty is impressive. There. You are almost one, two, three. How many are these? I think there's like six or seven left. I am concerned about the grind speed, so I tried to get that going. So that is flowing too quickly. On the machine? On um, that shot I just had. So right. I'm going to just grind that finer. Close okay. that with that. Yeah, okay. That. I can see that now. The, the pressure wasn't... And that is the problem with having two grinders, mm -hmm. is you've got to make sure they actually are calibrated, calibrated the same to way. be the same. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. We're at what, nine? One, one is pouring, so that's ten. We're going way over 10. I'm actually pretty optimistic. You're six minutes, 40 seconds. Maybe not 20, but dude, if you get 18, that's still very impressive. Let's see what you do. You are working all by yourself. And I'm bothering you as usual. <laughs> that is your job. That is exactly my job. Bother in chief. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's look at all this express. Oh. Okay. Look at these beautiful Ooh. colors. Okay, that goes there. Mm. That goes there. I think this can also be an ad for niche. Um, if you have two niches, <laughs> then the speed doesn't matter quite as much. <laughs> exactly. Okay. That this, flow this, looks a I lot better. I was about better. to say, yes, I'm this looks much better. That. I just figured from the color as well. Yeah. All right, let me get this one going. Wow. All right, so you did have a porta filter ready this time, which I is do quite have cool. One ready. I'm kind of alternating right now. Yeah. Right? So what I'm trying to do is having one grinder going. Ah, a little bit of dirt in there still. Mm -hmm. All right, less than two minutes. Uh, actually, exactly two minutes left, and we have about five uh, cups of beans. And given the average, uh, let me see. I actually think you can make it now. This is very impressive to see. Well, I am making a mess. Well, and I'm not really spending the time cleaning up the mess. You are preparing your puck properly every single time, though. This is true. All right, I think that if I knock the puck out and also rinse it, yeah. then I'll remember a little bit more mm -hmm. at that time. Knock the buck out. It's quite fun. All right. So there I am with that. There we go. And with that. All right. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. Gonna just since the shot is the slowest thing here. Yeah. I'm just always making sure that I get the knock shot started. Yeah, we have one minute left and I think we could have gone, done a lot more if it actually wasn't the Londanium uh, profile. I think it probably would have helped. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly don't know why you picked the Londanium. Maybe because <laughs> these are your copies and that's what you well, like, Well, Londanium right? tastes really good. Yeah, okay, and fair so, enough. so, you know, the whole theme of this contest, this challenge is good coffee fast it isn't fast coffee whatever quality we can manage yeah with that said i like the uh, sweet and gentle profile gentle and sweet yeah and that one does taste really good and it's fast 
So I think we are probably just about. We're about time. 10 seconds out. So I think by the time this one shot pours, then we're good. All right, so that is what we have managed. It's not that much of a mess as well. We have managed 17 cups. So there is our That's last shot. That's 17, yeah? Yeah, well, I have- That is pretty impressive. You have three, three left. Yeah. Three here, and we are time up, yeah? Yes, yeah, we're time out. Okay, so- And- There we are, 17 shots in- Yes, sir. 17 shots, one espresso machine, doing shots that are taking uh, about 30 seconds each to run, 30 to 40 seconds on Londinium. How do you feel this time? Are you tired? Uh, no, I'm energized. I'm thinking <laughs> I, I, I want to start drinking coffee. How about you? Um, yeah, I can use a couple of these. All right, let's get wired. Thanks All right, for, see you guys next in. time. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.